Bande ham shi guru shi atha parakamalam shi guru vaishnavam sya shi rupam sagrajatam saganaraganatam bitam tam sajivam sadvaitam sabadutam paridana saidam krishna chaitanya devam shi rana krishna puran sahagana lalita shi vishakam bitam sya om agyana timaranda sya ghyanajana shilakaya Chakshuran militam yena tasmai shi gurave nama Gurva bistam supurakam garaganara si shisam bhut shitam Chintya chintya samasta vedane banam shi rupa patanagam Govinda vidam ujjvalam varatanum bhaktyan vidam sundaram Bande vishwa gurun sha divyad bhagavat prim nawe bija pradam Devam divya tanum suchandavana nam balar kachelanchitam Sandrananda puram sadekabaranam vairagya vidyam budim Shri Siddhanta nidim subhakti lasitam Saraswatanam baram bandetam shubaram madekasharanam nyashishvara shidaram Manshakopatarubhya shakripa sindhu bhyevaja Patitanam pabenibhyo vaishnabhyo namo nama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Brunayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tavishe Nama So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami the Translation and Commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada And this is This is The Lord Travels to Vrindavan and we're at the point where he arrived to Kashi, to Varanasi, Banaras. So, Hare Krishna. E mata nana suke prabhu aila kashi, madhyana snana koila, mani karnikaya ashi. Finally, the Lord arrived with great happiness at the holy place called Kashi. There he took his bath in the bathing ghat known as mani karnika. Se kale tapana misha kore ganga snan prabhu deke hoila tara kichu vishmoi gyan. At that time, Tapan Misha was taking his bath in the Ganges and he was astonished to see the Lord there. So, this is interesting because Ma Prabhu had met with Tapan Misha when he was in Bangladesh. Ma Prabhu went to Bangladesh and he was preaching there. And Tapan Mishra had a dream uh, that about Mahaprabhu, and he came and met Mahaprabhu, and he took initiation from Mahaprabhu. At that time, Mahaprabhu was a grihasta living in Nabadeep, but he told Tapan Mishra to go to Varanasi and live there, which is very strange. But then this was an indication that later Mahaprabhu would take sannyas. So at that time, he Mahaprabhu travels to Varanasi and goes to Manikarnika, and there is Tapan Misha is taking his bath in the Ganges, and he was astonished to see the Lord there, because the last time he saw the Lord was in, in Bengal. Purve shuni jache prabhu, karya chena sanyas, nischai koriya hoila, rinoye ulas. Tapan Misha then began to think, I've heard that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has accepted sanyas, Thinking this, Tapan Mishra became very jubilant within his heart. Prabhu Chananadori Koranan Rodan Prabhu Tare Utaya Koila Lingan. He then clasped the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and began to cry. The Lord raised him up and embraced him. Prabhu Lanya Gela Bishveshwara Darshane Tabiyashe Deki Bindu Madhava Charane. Tapan Mishra then took Mahaprabhu to visit the temple of Vishveshwara. Coming from there, they saw the lotus feet of Lord Bindu Madhava. The Bindu Madhava temple is the oldest Vishnu temple in Varanasi. At present, this temple is known as Vaini Madhava and is situated on the bank of the Ganges. Okay. Gorilan, Gor Gore Loyala Prabhu Ke Anandita Haya Seva Kore Nritya Kore Vastra Udanya With great pleasure, Tapan Mishra brought Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to his home and rendered service unto him. Indeed, he began to dance, waving his cloth. 
Prabhur Chananadaka Sabam She Koila Pan Bhattacharjar Puja Koila Koriya Saman. He watched the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu, and afterwards he and his whole family drank the wash water. He also worshipped Balabhadra Bhattacharya and showed him respect. You, they can just hear. I'm just reading in English. <laughs> okay. Do you speak Bengali? No. No. Okay. That's probably good because I don't pronounce it well. Prabhura Chananadaka Sabam Se Koila Pan Bhattacharya Puja Koila Koriya Saman. He washed the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu, and afterwards he and his whole family drank the wash water. He also worshipped Balabhadra Bhattacharya and showed him respect. Prabhura Nimantran Kore Gare Bikadila Balabhadra Bhattacharya Paka Korala Taban Mishra invited Sri Chidhani Mahaprabhu to take lunch at his home, and he had Balabhadra Bhattacharya cook. So Balabhadra Bhattacharya is the servant of Mahaprabhu who is traveling with him to uh, accompany him through Jarikanda to the through the forest of Jarikanda and on to Vrindavan. So uh, and he's cooking he's cooks for the Lord. Bika Kore Mahaprabhu Kore Lashayan Mishraputra Raghu Kore Parasambahan when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took his rest after lunch, the son of Tapan Mishra, named Raghu, used to massage his legs. So this is the young son of Tapan Mishra, who later became uh, Raghu, uh, became Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, one of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan. But at that time, here it refers to him as Raghu, Raghunath. Prabhu Seshana Mishra Sabam Shekaila Prabhu Aila Shuni Chandra Shekara Aila. The remnants of food left by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were taken by the whole family of Tapan Misha. When news spread that the Lord had come, Chandra Shekar came to see him. Mishra Rasaka Teho Prabhu Purvadash Bhajajati Likan Briti Varana. Varanashivas. Chandrasekhar happened to be a friend of Tapan Mishra, and he was long known to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as his servant. He was a physician by caste and by profession. He was a clerk. At the time, he was living in Varanasi. Mishra Sakateho Prabhur Purvadash Bhajajati Likana Briti Varanashivas. Chandrasekhar happened to be a friend of Tapan Mishra. And he was long known to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as his servant. He was a physician by caste and by profession. He was a clerk at, at the time he was living in Varanasi. Ashi Prabhu Pade Pade Korana Rodan. Ashu Prabhu Pade Padi Korana Rodan. Prabhu Uti Tare Kripai Koila Alingan. When Chandra Shekhar came there, he fell down before the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and began to cry, the Lord, standing up, embraced him out of his causeless mercy. Chandra Shekara Kohe Prabhu, Mora Kripa Koila, Apane Asiya Britte Darshana Dila. Chandra Shekar said, my dear Lord, you have bestowed your causeless mercy upon me because I am your old servant. Indeed, you have come here personally to give me your darshan. Apana pra apana pra rabde bashi varanashi stane maya brahma shabda bina nahi shuni kane. Due to my past deeds, I'm residing at Varanashi, but here I do not hear anything but the words maya and brahman. Shaddarshana, that's because the, the persons. He's hearing Maya and Brahman, are, they're all Mayavadis, they're the Mayavadi sannyasis, they're the followers of Prakashananda Saraswati. And they, they're, this is the position of the Mayavadis that they, as will be explained, they cannot chant the name of Krishna. Shaddarshna Vyakya Bina Kata Nahieta Mishra Kripa Kore More 
Shunana Krishna Kata Chandra Shekhar continued. There is no talk at Varanasi other than discussions on the six philosophical thesis. Nonetheless, Tapan Mishra has been very kind to me, for he speaks about topics relating to Lord Krishna. <clears throat> the six philosophical thesis are Vaishashika, propounded by Kanada Rishi, to Nyaya, propounded by Gotama Rishi, Yoga or mysticism propounded by Patanjali Rishi, uh, the philosophy of Shankya propounded by Kapila Rishi, the philosophy of Karma Mimamsha propounded by Jaimini Rishi, and the philosophy of Brahma Mimamsha or Vedanta, the ultimate conclusion of the absolute truth, Janmadhyasyayata, propounded by Veda Vyas. Actually, Vedanta philosophy is meant for the devotees because in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Vedanta krid Veda Vedeva Chaham. I'm the compiler, compiler of Vedanta and I'm the knower of the Vedas. Vyasadeva is an incarnation of Krishna and consequently Krishna is the compiler of Vedanta philosophy. Therefore, Krishna clearly knows the purport of Vedanta philosophy for, uh, as stay in the Bhagavad Gita, whoever hears Vedanta philosophy from Krishna is actually aware, aware of the real meaning of Vedanta. The Mayavadis call themselves Vedantists, but do not at all understand the purport of Vedanta philosophy. Not being properly educated, people in general think that Vedanta means the Shankarite interpretation. So that's all these interpretations are followed by the Mayavadis, and of course they present the ultimate conclusion as near Visesh Brahman, or they present an imp impersonal conclusion. Nirantara du duhe chinti tomaracharan sarvagya ishvara to me diladarashan, my dear Lord. We do think of your lotus feet incessantly. Although you are the omniscient supreme personality of God, and you have granted us your darshan. Shuni Mahaprabhu Jabin Shri or your your audience. Shuni Mahaprabhu Jabin Shri Vrindavane Dinakata Rahitara Britya Duijane. My dear Lord, I have heard that you are going to Vrindavan. Please stay here at Var Varanasi for some days and deliver us, for we are your two servants. Mishra Kohe Prabhu Jabat Kashite Rohiba Morani Mantrana Bina Anya. Na Maniba Tapan Mishra then said, My dear Lord, as long as you stay at Varanasi, please do not accept any invitation other than mine. So Mahaprabhu agreed and he will not take with any the Mayavadi sannyasis, but always take for take uh, the offerings made by Tapan Mishra. Emata Mahaprabhu Dui Brit Yerabhashe Ichanahi Tabu Tata Rahila Dina Dashe Emata Mahaprabhu Dui Brit Yerabhashe Ichanahi Tabu Tata Rahila Dina Dashe Even though he had not made such a plan, Mahaprabhu remained for ten days at Varanasi, being obligated by the request of his two servants. Maharashtriya Bipra Aishe Prabhu Deki Bare Prabhura Rupa Prima Deki Hoi Chamatkare at Varanasi. There was a Maharashtrian Brahmin who used to come daily to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This Brahmin was simply astonished to see the Lord's personal beauty and ecstatic love for Krishna. Bipra Sab Nimantraya Prabhu Nahimane. Prabhu Kohe Ajimor Hanache Nimantrane. When the Brahmins of Varanasi would invite Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to lunch, the Lord would not accept their invitations. He would reply, I have already been invited somewhere else. Emata Pratidin Goranachan, Emata Pratidin Gorana Banchan, Sanyasira Sangabaye Nam, Manena Nimantran. Every day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu refused their invitations because he feared associating with Mayavadi sannyasis. Prakashananda Sri Pad Sabhate Bhasiya Vedanta 
परान बाहु शिष्य गणलया There was a great Mayavadi named Prakashananda Saraswati who used to teach Vedanta philosophy to a great assembly of followers. A Brahman who saw the wonderful behavior of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Prakashananda Saraswati and described the Lord's characteristics. Eksanyasi Aila Jagannatha Hoite Tahara Mahima Pratapa Napari Barnite. The Brahman told, Prakashananda Saraswati, there is a sannyasi who has come from Jagannath Puri, and I cannot describe his wonderful influence and glories. Sakala Dekiye Tate Adbhuta Katan Prakanda Sharya Rashuda Kanshana Bharan. Everything is wonderful about that sannyasi. He has a very well built and luxuriant body, and his complexion is like purified gold. Ajanu lambita buja kamalanayan jatakichu ishwarera sarva saulakan. He has arms that extend to his knees, and his eyes are like the petals of a lotus. In his person are all the transcendental symptoms of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Tahadeke gyanahoi e narayana jetare deke kore krishna sankirtan. When one sees all these features, one takes him to be Narayan himself. Whoever sees him immediately begins to chant the holy name of Krishna. Mahabhagavata lakan shuni bhagavate se sab lakana prakata dekiye We have heard about the symptoms of a first class devotee in Srimad Bhagavatam, and all those symptoms are manifest in the body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we've heard about the qualities of a Mahabhagavata devotee from the Srimad Bhagavatam, and all those qualities are found in Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is what Tapan Mishra said to Prakashananda Saraswati, the Mayavadi's sannyasi's leader. Nirantara Krishna Jiva Taragai Duinetre Ashubahe Ganga. Dharabrai, his tongue is always chanting the holy name of Krishna, and from his eyes tears incessantly fall, fall like the flowing Ganges. Kaninachi hashigai koraye krandan kane hu hunkara. Kaninachi hashigai koraye krandan kane hu hunkara kores. Simhera Garjan, sometimes he dances, laughs, sings and cries, and sometimes he roars like a lion. Jagat Mangalatara Krishna Chaitanya Nam, Namarupa Gunatara Sub Anupam. His name, Krishna Chaitanya, is all auspicious for the world. Everything about him, his name, form, and qualities is unparalleled. Dekile Sejanitara. Ishware Riti Alokika Katashuni Kekore Pratiti. Simply by seeing him, one understands that he possesses all the characteristics of the Supreme Personality of God. Such characteristics are certainly uncommon. Who will believe it? Shunya Prakashananda Bahuta Hasila Vipre Upahas Kore Kahite Lagila Prakashananda Saraswati laughed very much. To hear the description, joking and laughing at the Brahman, he began to speak as follows. Shunijachi Gona Desher Sanyasi Babuka Keshava Bharati Sisha Loka Prataraka. Prakashananda Saraswati said, Yes, I have heard about him. He is a sannyasi from Bengal and he is very sentimental. I have also heard that he belongs to the Bharati Sampradaya, for he is a disciple of Kesha Bharati. However, he is only a pretender. Chaitanya Namatara Babuka Ganaloya 
Deshe Deshe Grame Grame Bule Nachanya. Prakashananda Saraswati continued, I know that his name is Chaitanya and that he is accompanied by many, many uh, sentimentalists. His followers dance with him and he tours from country to country and village to village. Jaitari Deki say Ishwara Kore Kohe Aiche Mohana Bidya Jay Deke Se Mohe Whoever sees him accepts him as the Supreme Personality of God or as the Supreme Lord himself. Since he has some mystic power by which he hypnotizes people, everyone who sees him becomes illusioned. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya Pandita Prabha Shuni Chaitanyara Sange Hoyla Bhagao Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya Pandita Prabha Shuni Chaitanyara Sange Hoyla Bhagao Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya was a very learned scholar, but I have heard that he has also become a madman due to his association with this Chaitanya. Sanyasi Nama Mat Madra Maha Indra Jali Kashipure Na Bikabe Tara Bhava Kali. This Chaitanya is a sannyasi in name only, actually is a first class magician. In any case, his sentimentalism cannot be very much in demand here in Kashi. Vedanta Shravana Kora Na Na Jaiha Tarapas. Ujkrinkala Loka Sange Dui Lokanash. Do not go to see Chaitanya, just continue hearing Vedanta. If you associate with upstarts, you will be lost in this world and in the next. Eta Shuni Se Vipra Mahaduka Paila Krishna Krishna Bahi Eta Shuni Se Vipra Mahaduka Paila Krishna Krishna Kahi Tata when the Brahman heard Prakashananda Saraswati speak like this about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he became very much grief stricken, chanting the holy name of Krishna, he immediately left. Prabhu Darshane Shuddha Hanache Taraman Prabhu Age Duke Hoya Kahe Bibaran. The mind of the Brahman was already purified by seeing the Supreme Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He therefore went to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and described what had taken place before the Mayavadi Sannyasi Prakashananda. Shuni Mahaprabhu Tavi Ishad Hasila Punarapi Se Vipra Prabhu Ke Puchila. Hearing this, Mahaprabhu mildly, mildly smiled. The Brahman then spoke again to the Lord. Tara Age Jabiyami Tomaranama Loila Seha Tomar Nama Jane Apane Kahila. The Brahmin said, As soon as I uttered your name before me, he immediately confirmed the fact that he knew your name. Tomara Dosha Kohite Kore Namera Uchar Chaitanya Chaitanya Kore Kohe Tinbar. While finding fault with you, he uttered your name three times, saying, Chaitanya, 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 Tin, Tin, Bare, Krishna Nam, Na Aila Taramuke, Avagyate, Namaloi, Shuni Pai Duke. Although he spoke your name, Chaitanya, three times, he did not utter the name Krishna. He didn't say Krishna, Chaitanya. Because he uttered your name in contempt, I was very much aggrieved. Iharakarana more kaha kripa kori tomadeke muka mora bole krishna hari. Why could Prakashananda not utter the names Krishna and Hari? He chanted the name Chaitanya thrice. As far as I am concerned, simply by seeing you, I am moved to chant the holy name Krishna and Hari. Prabhu kohe mayavadi krishna aparadi. Brahmatma Chaitanya Kohe Nirabadi Sri Chaitanya replied, The Mayavadi impersonalists are great offenders unto Lord Krishna. Therefore, they simply utter the words Brahman Atman Chaitanya. Ateva Taramuke Na Aishe Krishna Nam Krishna Nam Krishna Swarup Dvita Saman. Because they are offenders unto Krishna. 
the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is identical with this holy name, the holy name Krishna does not manifest in their mouths. Nama vigraha swarup teen egurup tine beda nahe teen shidananda rup. The Lord's holy name, his form, and his personality are all one and the same. There is no difference between them. Since all of them are absolute, they are all transcendentally blissful. So actually the Lord is is equal to his nam guna lila rupa. Name, his name, nama chintamani cheta. Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigra Purno Shudo Nitya Mukto Minatvam Nama Namino. The Lord is non different from his name. His name is his person. His name is completely conscious as he is himself. The name is, is one with the Lord. As is Nam Guna, his, qua, his divine qualities are eternal and, and non different from him. Nam Guna Lila Rupa, his divine activities, his pastimes, and his form, they're all non different from Krishna. Deho Dehira Nama Namir Krishna Nahibed, Jibera Dharma Nama Deho Swarupe Bibed. There is no difference between Krishna's body and himself or between his name and himself. But as far as the conditioned soul is concerned, one's name is different from one's body from one's original form and so on. Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purno Shudo Nityamukto Binatvam Nama Namino The holy name of Krishna is transcendentally blissful and bestows all spiritual benedictions for it is Krishna himself the reservoir of all pleasure. Krishna's name is complete and it is the form of all transcendental rasas or mellows. It is not a material name under any condition. And it is no less powerful than Krishna himself. Since Krishna's name is not contaminated by the material qualities, there is no question of its being involved with maya. Krishna's... Read this verse again. Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purno Shudo Nitya Mukto Binatvam Nama Namino. The holy name of Krishna is transcendentally blissful. It bestows all spiritual benedictions, for it is Krishna Himself, the reservoir of all pleasure. Krishna's name is complete, and it is the form of all transcendental mellows. It is not a material name under any condition and is no less powerful than Krishna himself. Since Krishna's name is not contaminated by the material qualities, there is no question of it being involved with maya. Krishna's name is always liberated and spiritual. It is never conditioned by the laws of material nature. This is, this is because the name of Krishna and Krishna himself are identical. So Krishna's name also the source of Nama uh, Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Living Rasa the, all the relations of the Lord are present in the form of his holy name Ateva Krishna Nama Deho Bilas Prakritendriya Grayam Nahe the holy name of Krishna, his body and his pastimes cannot be understood by the blunt material senses. They are manifested independently. Krishna Nam, Krishna Guna, Krishna Lila Brinda, Krishna Rasarupa, Sama, Sab, Chidananda. Krishna's holy name, transcendental qualities and transcendental pastimes are all equal to Lord Krishna himself. They're all spiritual and full of bliss. Krishna Nam, Krishna Guna, Krishna Lila Brinda, Krishna Swarup Sama, Subchidananda. Krishna's holy name, transcendental qualities, and transcendental pastimes are equal to Lord Krishna himself. They're all spiritual and, and full of bliss. Krishna Nam, Krishna Guna, Krishna Lila, and Krishna Swarup. Atta Shri Krishna Namadi Nabhavet Grayam Indriyai Seven Muke Ichiwado Swayameva Suratiyada.
Therefore, material senses cannot appreciate Krishna's holy name, form, qualities, and pastimes. When a conditioned soul is awakened to Krishna consciousness and renders service by using his tongue to chant the Lord's holy name and taste the remnants of the Lord's food, the tongue is purified and one gradually comes to understand who Krishna really is. Brahmananda hoite purnananda lilaras brahma jnani akarshiya koreyat atmanash hmm. The rasas of Lord Krishna's pastimes which are full of bliss attract the jnani from the pleasure of Brahman realization and conquer him. So even one situated in, uh, in the impersonal Brahman realization can come to the stage of Krishna consciousness because even in that position uh, one, uh, one can become attracted because Krishna is beyond Brahma Bhuta Prashanatmana Sochati Nakangshati Samasarveshu Bhuteshu Brahma Bhuta Prashanatmana Sochati Nakangshati Samasarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Lavate Param. So one who comes to that Brahman platform then also can become attracted, can realize the bliss of Krishna and his service. The mellows of Lord Krishna's pastimes, which are full of bliss, attract the jnani from the pleasure of Brahman realization and conquer him. So, sukha nibhritta chetas tad vyuda shtanya bhavavu apiyajita ruchira lila krishta sarastadiyam Vyatanuta kripaya yas tattva deepam puranam tam akila brijinagnam vyasa shunum natosmi. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto my spiritual master, the son of Vyasadeva, Sukadeva Goswami. It is he who defeats all inauspicious things within this universe. Although in the beginning he was absorbed in the happiness of Brahman realization and was living in a secluded place, giving up all other types of consciousness, he became attracted by the most melodious pastimes of Lord Sri Krishna. He therefore, he therefore mercifully spoke the Supreme Purana, known as Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the bright light of the Absolute Truth and which describes the activities of Lord Krishna. Brahmanda hoite purnananda krishna guna ateva karshaye atma rama meran mana. The transcendental qualities of Sri Krishna are completely blissful and relishable. Consequently, Lord Krishna's qualities attract even the minds of self realized persons from the bliss of self realization. Atma ramas chamuna yo nigranta piyarukrame. Kurvanti ahaitukim bhaktim itam bhat bhuta gunohari. Those who are self satisfied and unattracted by external material desires are also attracted to the loving service of Sri Krishna, whose qualities are transcendental and whose activities are wonderful. Hari, the personality of God, is called Krishna because he has such transcendentally attractive features. A sub Rahu Krishna Chanana Sambande Atmaramer Manak Hare Tulasiragande. Apart from the pastimes of Lord Krishna, when Tulsi leaves are offered at the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, the aroma of the leaves attracts the minds of self realized persons. Tashyaravinda Nayanasya Padaravinda. Kinjalgamisha Tulasi Makarandavayu Antar Gatasa Vivarena Chakaratesham Sankshobam Akarshara Sankshobam Akshara Jusham Apichita Tanvo When the breeze carrying the aroma of tulsi leaves and saffron from the lotus feet 
of the lotus-eyed personality of God had entered through the nostrils into the hearts of those sages, the Kumaras. They experienced a change in both body and mind, even though they were attached to the impersonal Brahman understanding. Ateva Krishnanamana Aishitara Mukhe Mayavari Guna Jate Mahabahir Mukhe because the Mayavadis are great offenders and atheistic philosophers, the holy name of Krishna does not come from their mouths. Bhavakali Bechite Am Ami Ailana Kashipure Grahaka Nahi Na Vikaya Loya Jabagare. I have come here to sell my emotional ecstatic sentiments in this city of Kashi, but I cannot find any customers. If they are not sold, I must take them back home. Bariboja loya ailana kemone loya jab alpa swalpa muya paile etai bechiba. I brought a very heavy load to sell in this city, to take it back again. It's a very difficult job. Therefore, if I get but a fraction of the price, I shall sell it here in this city of Kashi. So this is interesting. Mahaprabhu well, says, I have come here to sell my emotional ecstatic sentiments in this city of Kashi, but I cannot find any customers. If they are not sold, I must take them back home. I brought a very heavy load to sell in this city. To take it back again is a very difficult job. Therefore, if I get a, but a fraction of the price, I shall sell it here in this city of Kashi. So what Mahaprabhu is, it's, a, it's involving, it's, a, it's humor based on Prakashananda Saraswati, the Prakash, Prakashananda Saraswati's comments that Mahaprabhu won't find any any buyers for his sentimental um, uh, Krishna consciousness in Kashi. So Mahaprabhu is saying, yes, actually I brought this heavy load here and there's nobody qualified really to receive it. So if anyone offers me anything, just a fraction of the price, I'll sell everything to them. So meaning he's going to, although nobody is qualified to receive Krishna consciousness, they don't have the any devo any real devotional qualities still he will give them Krishna consciousness if they have just a fraction of the price a little element of sincerity so it's a humor that Mahaprabhu makes based on Prakashananda's statement I brought my heavy load of sentimental goods here to Varanasi and there's no qualified buyer. So if anyone just offers me something, a little bit price, I will give them everything. So Etaboli say vibre atmasatakori prate uti matura chali la gorahari. After saying this, Mahaprabhu accepted that Brahman is his devotee. The next morning rising very early, the Lord started for Matura. So Mahaprabhu, when he's going to Varanasi, when he's going to, uh, pardon me, going to Vrindavan, he passes through Varanasi. At that time, he doesn't stop. He hears about the Mayavadis, tells the devotees that they are, that the name of Krishna doesn't come from their from the Mayavadis' mouth because they are offenders to Krishna. And, and Mahaprabhu will deal with them when he, after he goes to Vrindavan and he comes back to to Varanasi, yes. Maharaj, I understand. That, I think the name Vaishnava means lover of Vishnu, but Mayavadi, uh, from what I understand, Maya is illusion. What does Mayavadi mean? Of That's all they can do is talk about Maya and or illusion. They say they say Brahma. Is, Brahma Satya Jagat Mitya. Brahma, only Brahman exists. And there is no variety, there is no qualities, there is no individuality. Everything we see is illusion. So actually, their philosophy is very sterile. Sterile. They, don't, they can't explain this world. They say there is no world. Brahma Satya Jagat Mitya. This world is false. Everything you see is just illusion. It, ha it actually is... It's their whole philosophy is illusory. It doesn't have any substance. 
They can't explain anything except to say everything that you experience is illusion, is maya. That's like a that's like going down an impasse. Where is, how can you leave from that position? It's very close to what the Buddhists will say, Nirvisesh Brahman. You have to stop the activities of the mind. There is no reality. Etta boli se bipre atmasata kori prateute matura chali lagorahari. After saying that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted the Brahman as his devotee, the next morning rising very early, the Lord started for Mathura. Saitin Sangha Chali Prabhu Nishedila Dura Hoite Teen Jane Gare Patila. When Mahaprabhu started for Mathura, all three devotees started to go with him, but the Lord forbade them to accompany him and from a distance he asked them to return home. Prabhu Vira Hetine Ekatramilia, Prabhu Guna Gana Kore Premi Matahaya. Feeling separation from the Lord, the three used to meet and glorify the holy qualities of the Lord. Thus they were absorbed in ecstatic love. Prayage Asiya Prabhu Koila Beni Snan, Madhava Dekiya Premi Koila Nityagan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then went to Prayag, where he bathed at the confluence of the Ganges and the Jamuna. He then visited the temple of Veni Madhava and chanted and danced there in ecstatic love. The city of Prayag is situated a few miles from the city of Allahabad. The name Prayag is given due to successful sacrifices performed there. It is said, Pakrishto Yago Yoga Falam Yasmat. If one performs sacrifices at Prayag, one certainly gets immediate results without difficulty. Prayag is, Prayag is also called Tirtaraj, the king of all places of pilgrimage. This holy place is situated on the confluence of the river Ganges and Jamuna. Every year, a fair takes place there known as Mag Mela, and every 12 years, a Kumbha Mela is also held. In any case, many people come to bathe there every year. During Mag Mela, people from the local district generally come, and, and during Kumbha Mela, people come from all over India to live there and bathe in the Ganges and Jamuna. Whoever goes there immediately feels the place of spiritual influence. Okay. A fort located there was constructed by the Emperor Akbar about 500 years ago, and near the fort is a place called Triveni. On the other side of Prayag is an old place known as Pratishtanapur. It, it is also well known as Jansi. Many saintly people live there, and consequently, it is very attractive from the spiritual point of view. Jamuna Dekiya Preme Pare Janpadiya Ashtebhaste Bhattacharya Utkaya Dariya. As soon as Mahaprabhu saw the river Jamuna, he threw himself into it. Balabhadra Bhattacharya hastily caught the Lord and very carefully raised him up again. So, tomorrow I'll begin from this point. Right? of Mahaprabhu now, having been to Varanasi, which is called Benares nowadays. Actually, they, I believe they went back to the name Varanasi. It was called Varanasi for some time due to Muslim influence. And now referred to as Varanasi. Krishna Jada Vaya Nama, Jada Vaya Nama, Krishna Vaya Nama, Jada Vaya Nama, Krishna Vaya Nama, Jada Vaya Nama, Krishna Vaya Nama, Jada Vaya Nama, Krishna
Vaisa Parikara Shri Shri Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridari Juki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Chariyashta Tata Sada Shri Shri Mad Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Chariyashta Tata Sada Shri Shri Mad Srila Bhakti Rakak Shri Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sunanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Gaur Ki Shordas Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Satchidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vaishnava Sarvabhama Srila Jagannath Das Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Jai, Rupanuga Guru Bhargava Ki Jai, Namachari Shri Laharida Sakur Ki Jai, Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghuna, Shri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghuna, Shad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai, Premzi Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadana Arshivasati, Shri Gaura Bhakta Vrindi Ki Jai, Shri La Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai, Shri La Brindavan Das Sakur Ki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Bhagwat Ki Jai, Naratam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnupad Vishwavarenya Shri La Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnupad Shri La Bhakti Nirmala Charya Maharaj Ki Jai, Shri Nabadeep Dham Ki Jai, Shri Dham Mayapur Ki Jai, Saparshada Shri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Saparshada Shri Ma Prabhu Ki Jai, Shri Kaladvip Ki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai, Ganga Devi Ki Jai, Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gogopi Govardhan, Shyam Kunda Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Juhu Ki Jai, Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai. Gaur Primanande Hari 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 Hari